so uh, we're gonna make a video here a lot of people have been asking for a little video about some of the um, the equipment set up in the truck uh, with the you know the laptop and uh, different um, the plow controller and stuff so I'm just gonna go through a little bit of that first off we'll talk about the, the laptop mount this laptop mount is a um, Jado desk, Jodo desk, whatever you want to call it. I've heard people call it everything. In the past, I've made all of my own um, uh, laptop mounts. I'll show you some examples of those. Um, but th th this one with this particular truck, this is the first time I actually bought the you know ready-made uh, laptop mount. This thing's good. It's a nice solid laptop mount. It actually mounts. Uh, there's no drilling involved so in my previous vehicles and my trucks I would uh, when I made my own I'd like drill them into the floor and stuff like that and uh, this is really nice because it you unbolt the two front seat bolts and you just bolt it in and uh, you know you can take it out of there and put it in another vehicle and the arm comes off real nice so they're good um, if you can make your own though Make your own because you'll save some money. I think these run like about 350 bucks. So, um, you know, if you have the money, get one. But if not, you can always make the stuff. All right, up here is a mount that we have that we actually mount a camera to uh, sometimes. So we get a like a shot, you know, from, from straight ahead. So that's what that's for. Okay, up here we've got a Magellan GPS. It's like a 7-inch one. I got it several years ago and uh, it's hard to find the big ones like that they have like the trucker GPS's if you go to a truck stop you can find big ones and that particular one I think is still available on Amazon for a lot cheaper than I paid for it okay so we have our plow controller here this is the plow and salt controller now I modified all this I'm a fan of the joysticks some of the guys they like the the handheld controller or the ones that strap to your leg I like to have my arm rest in there and have and be able to control, especially with the V plow. I feel like the the joystick is a lot nicer uh, thing. So what I've done is I've actually taken and drilled some holes in. This is the salt controller for my salter, and I've connected everything together. When you get when you get the joystick um, controller, all a lot of these parts came with the 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 plow and what I did is I just I riveted these and made it all um, solid and and all that so they give you some of these parts and then I think a couple of them are my own I can't remember it's been a while but uh, basically I just screwed them together so that it, it all stays and then it actually just tucks real nice right in here underneath the seat and it doesn't it doesn't I'm pushing on it and it don't push forward so each truck is a little different um, like in Tori's truck we made a similar thing but in his truck uh, it's a Dodge truck and the seats a little different so it actually it's been sliding forward on him so we got to modify it that's something on the list of things to do um, a lot of this other gear in here I have my lighting controller right here so these are the controls for the strobes and the amber light and my reverse lights and then this is um this is my airbags so this is right side and left side and that's just you know i flip that up to pump them up um that's just the cb that's a scanner i've got a pa in here and a big loud horn um a lot of this stuff we do in the summertime uh kayla and i do uh storm spotting for our local county here so a lot of the gear is multi-purpose it's uh for the winter and for the the summer too i'm trying to get actually tory to have a two-way in his truck so we can uh talk back and forth he's got a handheld right now but uh it's nice when we're doing like commercial jobs to have you know the two-way radios and be able to talk to each other okay so uh here's my crappy little shop um, I'm just gonna kind of give some ideas for you if you if you guys want um, a laptop mount or equipment mounts. Um, like a lot of stuff in there I bought, but like I said, for many years 
this is the first truck that I've actually had stuff that I bought and put in there. So I don't think you have to buy that stuff. One of the perfect examples is like this. Now most people look at an old satellite dish and say, throw the piece of crap out or scrap it for, you know, for the money for the metal. But uh, like this stuff right here is um, typical of what I would use before for like a laptop mount. So if you unscrew everything from the dish and you use this whole arm part, this can actually set on the floor of your truck and then you can, if you have like a piece of metal, a sheet or something, which then goes to my next pieces is uh, like these things. These are big now. In fact, you can find people throwing these out all the time because the big TVs, it's all flat screen now. Uh, but like this is this is something that could be like perfect with a little bit of modification where you can take this off put it on a satellite dish, but um, You know you can use this stuff You know if you figure out a way you, you've got to kind of think about it and try and see what works test stuff out uh, Here's another thing that uh, Was a TV mount and that's why I saved this stuff because you can make um you, know, you can make different mounts and different um, things out of it. One of the things is um, save little parts and stuff. You, I've got like many different sizes. You know, I take stuff apart and little pipes. This is from like an antenna mount. And this was actually, a, I had painted it black and this was in my old vehicle for, this was part of my laptop mount. So once I break them down, I still save the parts because may reuse them someday. Um, but old computer cases. I don't think I have, I don't know what I did with mine, but the, the big towers for the old computers, if you take the cover off of it, usually there's about four or five screws, take the cover off it and throw the rest away, but that's sheet metal. So like if you don't have money to buy a piece of sheet metal to make mounting hardware, old computer cases are perfect. All right, like uh, here's one. I don't know if I'll ever end up using it, but I say this is from um, an old deep fryer. But see, it's got this metal on here that's halfway decent metal, and I thought someday for making a mount or making anything, I I'd save it. So it's just little things like that. This is uh, some sort of metal potato box that was in our kitchen when we moved into this house and I thought this is a great thing that I can possibly use to make something at some point in time. So just a couple of tips on uh, ways you can make mounts for your uh, vehicles. And now for the shovel wrap pouch. <laughs> Look, that's where I keep all my crap. I could fit a six pack of soda in there or <laughs> where I put all the Slim Jims and Monsters. You drink Monsters? Stuff? I do. Only, only when I'm shovel rat. Okay, so that's just a little video of uh, all the equipment in the truck that some of you had requested some, you know, details about what everything was. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we got episode two coming soon, so be patient.